many more people that work with. There's more than, they say 100,000 people. There's a lot more. When you consider one small bar owner, a guy on the corner, he, not only his family, but the guy who delivers the beer, the, the uh, electrician, the plumber, their families, the bartenders, their family, all these people that work for the tavern. It's close to, it's closer to 2 million than there is to 100,000. And of course, they keep saying that the casinos in Chester, that the casino in Chester, it'll put them out of business. I don't believe that for one second. Um, it would have, would it have possibility of reducing the revenues a little bit, maybe, but this certainly isn't going to put Ch the, the Harris Casino is a, a billion dollar business there, and you can't tell me that allowing our small businesses to um, be able to participate in this is going to hurt them in any way. I don't believe it. The casinos do not want us to have these. I don't know why, because it's a different type of customer. The customer that comes in our places, that that um, patronizes our places, a lot of them are not casino people. They they want to patronize the small business. They want to stay in their neighborhood. They don't want to drink and drive. They want to do the right thing, and and we're just trying to add an option for those people other than than drinking. And you know this is nothing new. It's been going on for for years and years and years, and it's it's come to the forefront now because the casinos, as Representative Barrar said, had a monopoly on any kind of slot machine gaming. I think it was for 15 years. Well, that contract ended. So that's why this is even be cons being considered. And then you have the problems that the state has with revenue where they need recurring revenue. And, and we have said to them, you know, here, we want to give you recurring revenue. Every year, three to five hundred million dollars. And we've just met a lot of resistance by um, mainly senators who are beholden to the casinos in Pennsylvania. And, and that's, that's the bottom line of it. There's no Mince in words, if it wasn't for the casinos in Pennsylvania, we would have these VGTs. There's, there's, there's not another way to, to say it.